In this video, I'm reviewing some T5 LED light tubes by a company called WYZM. I'll put a link down in the video description below to where you can get these. Um, in a four pack, they're about $15 a piece. So the price is pretty good. These are designed to go into a standard fluorescent light fixture in place of your standard T5 fluorescent light tubes. You do need to disable the ballast though in order for these to work. Um, there are some different options there where you don't have to replace the ballast. You got uh, ones with uh, external converters, uh, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm gonna save all of that information for another video. This is basically gonna be just a review of this particular tube. If you want reviews or comparisons of all of these LED light tubes and instructions, video instructions on disabling the ballast, um, I'm doing all of that in my videos on YouTube. So make sure you check out the Gadget Class channel on YouTube. So basically what we've got here, I've got uh, two standard fluorescent tubes installed and then I've got two of the WYZM tubes installed. As you can see, the fluorescent tubes are a much warmer color. Um, I think they're in the 4000 range and these WYZM ones are in the 5500 to 6000 range. So these are a very cool bulb. These are uh, 20 watts and uh, I think they put out about 2000 to 2100 lumens. So in terms of overall light output, I've got my uh, trusty lux meter set up here. And you can see with both lights on, we're getting 611, 612 lux. Okay. Now, if we go ahead and uh, disable the WYZMs for a minute, we're getting 386 lux. Actually, this is times 10. I'm really... Uh, 3,900 lux. And these are fluorescent tubes. They take a while to warm up. Uh, they usually uh, kind of taper out around uh, 4,100 to 4,200 lux, which is pretty good. Now let's go ahead and uh, disable these and turn on the WYZMs again. And I have done the same test with some Hypericon bulbs and some Uber LED bulbs and I actually got a much higher lux output doing the exact same test in the exact same configuration with the Hypericons and the Uber LEDs. So because these are only 20 watt LED tubes, it means they have uh, probably maybe one or two less SMD LED chips um, in the tube. So that's why there is a slight, um, slightly less light output. But they are also slightly less expensive too. So. Other than that, uh, the main thing you want to look at is the shape. Um, these have kind of an oval shape to them. You can see that the G5 pins, G5 is the pin type on all T8 tubes. Let me uh, put this in manual focus mode here. So there's our G5 pins. They are exactly five millimeters apart. And you can see that the tube itself is kind of an oval shape. The base here is a kind of a 90 degree oval and then the, the actual tube itself is a, an oval that uh, ends up pointing up and down in the fixture so that the longest part of the oval is sitting almost back against this uh, reflector plate here. That's gonna make it uh, very hard to fit in some light fixtures. This one here is very forgiving. It's a high bay light fixture, um, but a lot of other T5 light fixtures aren't gonna have that much room for that big long oval there. I think it's uh, something like 39 millimeters. So that's why uh, something like the Hypericons might be a good idea or uh, these Uber LEDs that have a, an external converter box uh, might be the way to go. These external converter ones actually are the exact same width of the, uh, of the T5 tube. see them both there. So um, they work fine in this fixture, so I can't uh, dock any points on this fixture, but if you're looking for something to go into a, a smaller or a tighter clearance fixture, you're probably not gonna wanna go with the WYZMs, okay? You're gonna wanna go with the Hypericons or an Uber LED light. Now let's do a test here. I've got uh, two of these WYZMs installed in that fixture. And I've got two standard fluorescent tubes in that fixture. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the main light bank here. And we'll see how many lux we get um, just standing underneath.
directly under the WYZM light fixture, I'm getting 211 lux. Let's go stand under the fluorescent one. I'm getting 260 lux. So that's a, that's about a 50 lux difference. That's quite a difference. Compare that to the Hypericons. The Hypericons were, th were within eight lux of the fluorescent light pictures. These are, have a 50 lux difference. And that's gonna be due to uh, the lower wattage. They may come out with a 22 watt version, which is the same as the other brand on the marketplace. But for right now, they put out a little bit less power. So based on the uh, slightly oval shape and the fact that it's going to have clearance issues and the fact that they uh, put out a little bit less light than uh, their competitors, I'm going to have to give it a 4 out of 5. They're a little bit cheaper and they do the job perfectly well. The color is even. They fit the fixture. Um, they're a decent product. Um, but uh, you may have clearance issues and they don't put out quite as much light as maybe some of the other ones. So four out of five. If you found this review helpful, make sure you hit yes down here on Amazon. Um, if you're on, on YouTube, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the LED light series of videos I'm doing. I'm gonna do comparisons of the various tubes uh, in the same fixture. I'm gonna show you how to disable ballast, how to do all the wiring. I'm gonna explain everything for you and uh, take all the mystery out of it.